Hello students, welcome back. Uh, we'll continue today how to insert a chart in a PowerPoint presentation. What is a chart? What are the different names it is called for? Let us start with it. And just to give you a brief idea, this is a chart in front of you right uh, i have labeled it according to their location this entire area is called as a chart area which is the number is given one that is chart area the number two the names are given like arisha vinod monika aman that is number two position over here it is called as category axis you can see the mouse pointer i am moving Now I am moving to number 3 in which it is 0, 20, 40, 60 is written that is called as value axis. Number 4 in which these columns are been created the blue, the orange and all they are called as data series. then i will move to number five where it is written as maths m-a-t-h-s maths is written it is called as category name this is number six which is called as plot area if you see the black lines what you are having in the background of the chart they are called as plot area this is the actual area where the chart is going to be created after you enter the data into it and last is seventh is legend l-e-g-e-n-t legend here it is you will say that sir here the name are the same as it is there in number two also arisha vinod monika and all but the difference between both is it is represented by the color arisha is represented by the color blue which is depicted over here Vinod is given orange color. Here is the orange color. Okay, Monica with the yellow color. Here it is given. Aman with light blue color. Aradhika with blue color. And Ashish with orange color. So these are the various colors which has been depicted. And it is reflected in legend only. Next, we'll go in detail and study what this each and every thing is called about. In the next slide yes they are called as components of chart first is the chart area the a the chart area includes the complete area and all the objects in a chart second is the category axis category axis or x axis is the horizontal axis the matter that is compared and presented in the chart comes under it so this is the category axis. Arisha, Vinod, Monika. The numbers which you are given accordingly, the column has been plotted over. This is called as column chart. Third is value axis. Value axis or y axis is the vertical axis which is used to plot the values. So, where is the value axis? This 3. This is the value axis. 0, 20, 40. This is the actual plot. Fourth is data series. Data series are the bars, slices or the other elements that show the data values. This is data series fourth. Actual value 98, 95, 75, 60 like that. Fifth is the category name. The category names are the labels displayed on the X and the y axis phi this is category name maths right plot area the plot area is a window within the chart area it contains the actual chart itself and includes plotted data data series category and value axis 
So sixth, six is the plot area. This lines what I'm saying. The background on which the actual chart comes up. That's called as plot area. And seventh is legend. It depicts the colors, patterns, or the symbols which are assigned to the data series. So this is seventh, which is called as legend. Arisha, which is represented by blue color. That is what it wants to say. Orange color is meant for Vinod, like that. <coughs> Sorry. Next. Now, how to create a chart? For that, you have to go to the title and content slide layout. Click on the insert chart option. There are various options available over here. Various kind of charts can be created. After that, we are going to select the column chart. This is how it will look like. In column chart also, there are various categories. We are going off with the first part, the clustered column it is called as. This is how it will look like. And thus, press OK button. If you observe, the chart is ready in front of you. Now you need to specify. Like in series one, maths so when i write maths over here so in legend if you see this is the legend right it is represented by blue color then computer if i see if you see here this is orange color which is of computer and english which is represented by gray color. Now I will write the name of the students in category one. This is a student's name, category one, category two, category three, and category four. I'm going to write the name. Ram. Sita. Lakshman and Bharat. Now, if you observe carefully, as I am going to change the values over here, you will see the reflection over the axis also and the difference in the chart also. Let us start. by giving a value to Ram. If you observe, the numbers have changed. Accordingly, the plot value is also changed. The same I will apply it for the computer. Right? Same will be applied to each and every data which I enter. I'm randomly giving the numbers so that you can see how the plotting is done on the chart. Okay, and then you close the Excel sheet. And now you can see and increase the chart. This is how you can create a chart in a PowerPoint presentation.
now you'll say that sir if i want to make some modification into the chart can i do so or formatting work if i want to do can i do so yes you can do say for example this is the plot area if you want to change the color or the background of this plot area you have to right click on that area right click on format area a format plot area will come over here and here you can do various kind of background like pictures if you want you can enter a picture if you want to enter gradient uh, i will just show you one picture here it is you can select the picture of your choice and you can put it same way the question will come to our mind that if can we make the changes in the background of a the bars which have been drawn yes you can do so how so right click on that area select first of all click on format data series and i am going to put a pattern so that it is clearly visible this is the pattern yes the pattern has been changed you'll say sir if i want to change the color of the pattern yes you can do so green color okay so you can do formatting effects give formatting effects on various charts on the background also in the plot area also and as well as in the background of the bars also which has been created so with this we complete the chapter thank you and have a nice day